you see, now this is going to be the fourth flight of the Tomahawk design integral. 80 millimeter by FMS sent to me by Hobby Zone, and today I've also got the uh, KM afterburner in there. And this is gonna be the flying first time flying with the SMC high voltage pack 4300 4S. And I want to say it's got a, a, a 70C discharge if I remember right. First time I've used this kind of a battery, so high voltage pack. So, right, everybody been after me to use them batteries. I'm like, okay, well, here we go. I'm going to try one. And this is a perfect jet to try it in. Right, left, up, down, right, left. Motor's on. Take off flaps. Timer set for three minutes and 50 seconds. See if this uh, high voltage pack doesn't give me a little more punch. All right, not this plane needs any more punch. Here we go. Love that afterburner. I just wish we didn't have this plain blue sky. No clouds really to fly against. All right, going to punch it. Take her up. I won't do that again. Yeah, especially on a blue, blue, uh, landing flaps, gear down. Uh, blue sky today. All right. Yeah, but the sun messes with me then. All right, I'm awfully, awfully high. Let me go around. Oh man, what a sweetheart that plane is. And the plane does seem to have just a touch more punch because of that battery, I'm sure. All right. Take off flaps. Don't really need take off flaps today. Here we go. Full speed. Landing flaps. All right. Just kind of tank by, kind of slow. I mean, come on. What a sweetheart. What an absolute sweetheart. All right, take it off one more time. Actually, two more times. All right, I'm gonna to try to float it in, well, for a jet. I'm gonna to try to land with no flaps this time. Don't have much of a head, not much of a wind. I got enough wind to slow her down. Don't really need the flaps. 
Yeah. Yeah, enough wind to slow her down. And she behaves real well. Time remaining, one minute. Crown handling is great with this thing. Gear up. Gear down. Landing flaps. Thirty seconds. Oh no! Whoa! Right, wind caught. Wind caught me on that one. Take off flaps. Flaps up. All right, we're gonna have to redeem it. I can't leave it like that. Got complacent there. Now, that's what I'm looking for right there. Time expired. I love that wide gear. That really makes ground handling so much easier. A little bright today to really show off that afterburner, but if you look down the tailpipe, a little bit darker, it could really show up. Secured. All right, we had five seconds left on a, actually we're five seconds over on a three minute and 55. So we flew for three minutes and 55 seconds. Prop is secured. Let's check out this battery. Take my phone block out of there, just put that in my pocket. Battery is warm, but not like super hot. Thirty-three percent. So really, four minutes is perfect. Four minutes is perfect. All right, and that is a, and I've got that right on that battery tray. This is the end of the battery tray that goes in towards the nose of the plane. Make sure you've got a dead center and all the way flush at the very end. Now this is, if you charge this battery in the high voltage setting um, she, at the 4.35 uh, volts, she's a 4400 6S. If you charge her at a regular LiPo setting of 4.2, uh, then she's a 3800 6S. But uh, that is the SMC 4400 6S high voltage, high cycle life, sent to me by SMC. Uh, I want to say it's $79. So, you know, I, I pay 50 bucks for the Sokokan um, 4S's, 4,000's, and, but this is a 4,400 and this is a high voltage, just that gives you a little more punch consistently through the entire flight. A lot of batteries will get a lot of power at the beginning and it kind of trails off as you get lower into the flight. This had plenty of punch all the way through the flight. So, I'm impressed with this. Well, folks, that is my last flight for today. On this plane, if I can get the tray back in there, trying to get it to line up. Want to hear that click? And that is the FMS Integral. I like to call it Sharky because that's what it looks like. Sent to me by Hobby Zone for review. 
and uh, I'm very impressed with this plane. It flies great, um, handles great, it's locked in. I did have a little bit of trouble getting her trimmed out for the maiden. It took the first and second flights to get her really trimmed out, but the third and fourth flight, especially this flight, she flies amazing. Absolutely love this plane. Good flying plane. I just wish that she had thrust reverse, and I wish I would have got the red now because the blue really blends into the sky. So, so if you're gonna buy one, use my link. You can take $10 off the price. I would buy the red one if I could do it over again because it would show up better in these blue skies. Y'all have a good and Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all, and don't forget, stay family and friends, and then Sharky Jets. Bye-bye.